Hello everybody, this is Jack B1024, and I'm here to show you today a quick tutorial on how to send sulfuric acid from an input station to your uranium mines, uh, controlling it with circuit networks. This is a very simple setup. It only uses wires on the circuit networks connected to the train spots and to the storage tanks. So firstly, looking at our input station, it's called H2SO4 input. It is set to send the information to the train and read the train contents. This way I can easily set a condition on the train for how many, how much uh, sulfuric acid it has. So if we look at the train, it's set to go to H2SO4 input and wait until the circuit says that the sulfuric acid is greater than 200. Uh, in a real game, you'll probably want to set this to a higher value, but this is just for a quick example. The train will then go to a uranium mine. It will wait until the uranium mine has at least 200 sulfuric acid in it, or 30 seconds has passed. Again, you'll probably want to change this 200 to a higher value in a real game. Uh, this is just for testing. And so one of the things you need to be aware of is that to get circuit conditions, you need to have the train station connected to a circuit network. And you know, the simplest way to do that is simply to just to connect it to an electric pole. So there we go, we've got a pole, and we can connect it. It doesn't have to be connected anywhere else because we're literally just reading the train contents and then reading, writing that straight back to the train. Um, for this example, I also have it connected to these pumps and they're just set to limit how much sulfuric acid is in the train so I'm not wasting all the sulfuric acid that I produce. Um, oh, why is it not producing anymore? Is this thing filled up with? There we go. Okay, off to our train stations. So our stations are set up pretty simply. We've just got our pumps pulling out. They pipe into this storage tank, which is connected via circuit network to the train stop. And it is set to enable or disable the train stop, enabled when there is less than 100 sulfuric acid. Again, in a real game, you'll probably want to set this to a number closer to, say, 10,000. Remembering that this number divided by 10 is essentially how many, how much uranium ore you will be able to mine um, before you empty. So in this case, it would only mine 10. Uh, and would have to have the train come here before it's mined those 10, otherwise it would be out of sulfuric acid. And again, we're sending the information to the train. That way the train knows when to leave when this has a sufficient amount of sulfuric acid. All of these stations are identical, again. And that one's the same. For these testing stations, I have this extra pump here. It's set to enable when I turn this constant combinator on, just so I can drain these tanks really quickly. Uh, so for our first example, let's drain the middle station. So there you go, it's drained, and our train has come down. It's filled up the tank, and the train has gone back off. So again, this works with any of these stations. We can turn off the left one, and you see it going down to fill it up. And I've just emptied the right one. So once it has enough sulfuric acid, it will come straight down and fill up the third station. And again, yep, just to show, you can go to any station. And I need to turn that off. It seems to be out of sulfuric acid now. Which is fine, it would go back after 30 seconds, but uh, I can't be bothered waiting. So there you go, you can see it fill up. There we go, it's transferred enough to this station, so it's heading off again. And it will fill up and uh, refill the left station. So there you go, it's, you know, two simple circuit wires. You know, you need an extra pole or something to connect the input station to. If you want to do it this way, you know, you could also have it instead wait till the inventory is full. That would also work. Or, oh, there's a fluid count. Well, the things you learn. So there, actually. I had not noticed that. So, even easier now. Here's a fluid count, and then you don't even need this circuit connection. Uh, but I'm going to use it for this. 
And there you go. So that is how you can quickly set up a train to refill your uranium deposits. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, this is Jack B. 1024 signing off.